Oh my God! What is this rubbish? How low can you be? Why did you just spit on me? Oh, do you know how much this dress cost? Oh, I'll just pay you the details. But let me tell you the amount I got it for. Because I'm sure you've never had such in your life. I got it for $10,000. So don't you dare do that again. <laughs> Since you left the office, do you want me to bring your drink for you? Oh yes, please. I don't mind. Okay, I'll be right back. Thank you. Lisa! Greg! Oh my god! Is this you? Yeah, it's me! Lisa, how oh, are you? Oh, please stop it. I don't shake low life. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry for yourself. So what are you doing here? Oh, I came here because of this car. See, I really like this car. That's why I'm here, admiring it. <laughs> of course. You're here to admire the car. Because that is the only thing you ever do. Admire, admire. You will never buy. Well, it's fine. Um, what about you? What are you here for? Oh, that's a dumb question, but I'm going to answer you. I'm here to purchase the car. This? Yes, of course. And let me tell you something about this car. It's an abstract. It is very unique. It has more beautiful things in it, but from the outside, you will think it's very simple. That's the reason why I want to buy it. Exactly why I love this car. Of course, I know you love the car. But the bad thing is, you can't afford it because you are too low for the car. You don't have money. I'm wondering why they allowed you into this place and why you're standing very close to this expensive car. Oh, come on. Is that right? How has life been with you? Great. Life has been so good, like so, so good. And guess what? I'm a doctor now. Doctor? Yes. I just received my doctorate in accounting from Stanfield. Wow. Mm -hmm. So tell me, what about you? What university do you attend? Well, I couldn't afford my university tuition fee, so I dropped out. Oh, <laughs> I never expected anything less. You know, my thesis in corporate accounting was published immediately I finished my doctorate. And guess what? Mossy Box Financial hired me immediately and they pay me a lot. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, thank you so much, Greg. Uh, let me guess. You don't have a degree, right? So what do you do? Oh, a sales boy. Because that's, that's the only thing you can do without a degree. I'm sure they pay me a lot that can feed you for the rest of your life. <laughs> there you go, sir. Thank you. Miss, do you care for some? Don't you dare call me miss. I am a doctor, so address me as doctor. And I don't know why you're serving this low life a drink. Someone that just came here to admire a car. Just go, you can get me something. Okay, doctor. <laughs> oh my God. What kind of drink is this? It tastes really good. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm so sorry I'm laughing. You want to tell me you don't know the Glen Brandy? This is the best brandy in town and it's well celebrated by everyone. Oh, silly me. I'm sure you've never tasted it. It's not for idiots and low bragged people. Oh my God! What is this rubbish? How low can you be? Why did you just spit on me? Oh, do you know how much this dress costs? Oh, I'll just pay you the details. But let me tell you the amount I got it for. Because I'm sure you've never had such in your life. I got it for $10,000. So don't you dare do that again. Lisa, I, I am sorry. 
Sorry for your stinky poor self. What's the meaning of this? Why is this attendance? Oh my God. Why is this attendance? Please just come and tell me the price of this car. Let me buy it and live here. Can't deal with such low lives. Oh. Attendant! Attendant, where are you? Here you go, ma. Thank you. So tell me, how much does this car cost? Oh, Mr. Greg here already asked for the price and I think he's ready to buy it. What? Greg, you asked for the price of this car? Something you can't afford? Oh, you crack me up. I mean, what did you do that for? I just wanted to know the price. You just wanted to know the price when you can't afford it. Come on, that's an insult. Don't try it next time because you might probably end up in jail. It's fine. Grace, you can tell her the price. And if she's interested to buy it, no problem. Okay, sir. Ma, this car costs $100,000. What? $100,000? Isn't that too much? That, that's a lot of money. Um, is there no discount? Because there's absolutely no way I can afford $100,000. No, ma. It's a fixed price. No discount. Mr. Greg, are you still interested in buying the car for your daughter? Yes. Okay, sir. Let me get you the invoice. Your daughter? How is that even possible? Well, I am the CEO of Rainbow Laundry Services. CEO? But you're not even a graduate, so how come? Remember my father used to be our school janitor? Yes. Well, he had this small laundry business and after school, I couldn't afford my tuition fee, so I had to take over from him. Well, the business grew and became what it is today. Oh, wow. That's, that's actually nice. Mr. Greg? Oh my God, Mr. Greg! How are you? I'm fine. How are you? It's so good to see you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Ma. Lisa, what are you doing here? Oh, I came to check on someone. Oh, okay. Mr. Greg, so nice to see you. What are you doing here? Well, I came to get a car for my daughter. Your daughter? The small one, she's all grown now. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, that's so good. Mr. Greg, meet Lisa. Lisa, meet Mr. Greg. Mr. Greg, thank you so much for everything you've done for me. I, I really, really appreciate it. <laughs> thank you very much. Come on, Jenny. Don't mention. You know, that's a long time ago. Yeah, I know. Lisa, Mr. Greg here was the one who helped me start up the company that I run and that you work for. Oh, wow. <laughs> Mr. Greg, I need to leave now. I came to pick up something from here. I'll see some other time, okay? No problem. All right, take care. I'll catch you in the office. Yes, ma'am. Bye. Sir, please, are you making payments now or later? Yes, I will pay now. Okay, please sign here, then let's go to the office. Okay. Follow me, please. Yes, sir. I will see some other time. Ma'am, you shouldn't talk to him like that. He's a customer and he has been here for long. Are you stupid? It looks like you don't like your job anymore, right? I'm just saying, it's not fair. Will you just shut up? Are you trying to say I should allow this papa to cut his hair before Mr. Simon? You know what? You're fired. What? Ma'am. Get out! next okay he's going first then ha then i'm going last oh thank you so much i lost count i wasn't concentrating no problem it's fine i think it's my turn right yes okay thank you welcome Yeah, how are you all doing? So I'll just... 
Oh yes, yes. I'm sorry, sir. Which side do you want? We like feed. Feed. You just came in, and I've been here for a couple of hours now. I'm sorry. You have to wait for your turn. Wait. I'm sorry. Do you know who you're talking to? I'm sorry, sir. I, I don't know you. We haven't met before. Oh really? You don't know me. <laughs> um, Martha. Yes, sir. Just how long have you been working here? Almost two years, sir. Could you please tell that thing who I am? I'm very sorry, sir. But this is Mr. Simon, our very top customer. He's very wealthy and respected. Please, let him have his hair cut. Immediately he's done. I'll attend to you. And you don't even have to pay a dime. But that's unfair. Look, I've been here for hours. Now it's my turn. You're asking me to wait. Please, sir. No matter. This is unfair and totally unacceptable. Please, matter. Why are you begging him? You should keep quiet. You see, I don't know why poor people keep making too much noise. Don't beg him anymore. Martha, I think this is unfair. This man has been waiting here for hours. And you are here babbling on another person. What do you mean, Jack? Don't you know who Mr. Simon is? Of course I do. But we do not have a VIP section. So we have to treat everyone equally. Okay. Well... I would like to see the manager. I really don't think there's a need for that. Sir, if you want to see the manager, I'll get you the manager. Just get me the manager. <laughs> Good day. Jack said you want to see me. Yes, I requested to see you, ma'am. Okay, so what is the problem? Okay. Now the problem is, when I got here, I met two customers here. I waited my turn. Now it's my turn to have my hair cut. And Mata here insists Mr. Simons goes first. I want to understand why he should go first. And as the manager, I believe you know the right thing to do. Yes. I am the manager here. And as you rightly said, I know the right thing to do. Thank you. I thought as much. <laughs> So the right thing to do is that is to allow Mr. Simon have his hair cut before yours. But I, I excuse me. I mean, look at you. Don't you know how to recognize riches when you see one? Mr. Simon here is one of our respected customers, and he has one of the biggest stores in town. So I suggest you just sit down and wait for him. Ma'am, you shouldn't talk to him like that. He's a customer and he has been here for long. Are you stupid? It looks like you don't like your job anymore, right? I'm just saying, it's not fair. Will you just shut up? Are you trying to say I should allow this papa to cut his hair before Mr. Simon? You know what? You're fired. What? Ma'am. Get out! You know what? If I'm getting fired for doing the right thing, I'll gladly lose the job. He talks too much. He talks too much. Please continue. Please wait. I'm sorry I didn't introduce myself earlier. And what am I supposed to do with your introduction? I am sure you were told this salon is under a new management as at two weeks ago. And how is that supposed to be your problem? Well, my name is Mr. Samuel Stone. And this salon belongs to me, among other businesses that I own. Uh, I'm so sorry, sir. I didn't know it was you. No. You don't need all that right now. Don't be all soft and nice to me. Well, the truth is, I was worried about the staffs working with the previous owner. So I decided to come in here and see things for myself, because I didn't want anyone losing their jobs. So I decided to come in here as a normal customer and have a haircut. But I'm glad. I finally know how things are being run here. Yes, some people will be fired today, but definitely not Mr. Jack. So Mata, I would like you to drop the apron and take your personal belongings and leave the salon because you're fired.
Martha, you are fired. Please leave. And as for you, Barbara, effective immediately, you've been relieved of your position as a manager in this salary. You're fired. I'm very sorry, sir. Miss Barbara, go in there, clear your decks, and leave. What are you still doing here? And as for you, Mr. Simon, would you wait your turn or you leave? Sir, I would gladly wait my turn. I'm not in a hurry anymore. I would gladly. Please help me with this, please. Thank you. Um, I'm so sorry, okay? I'm so sorry. I meant no harm. I'm so sorry. Don't worry. We are done with it. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. <laughs> <laughs> 